morning everyone. Isolation along day six. This is the halfway point. So by the end of making this block, you will either be able to make one lap quilt, which is six blocks, um, or keep him, keep them all and make a whole quilt at the end of the 12. Um, so yeah, we're day six. It's a, uh, the last of our pinwheel series of three. So the first three, as you know, uh, were the star blocks. Now we're on to pinwheels. Um, this is the last pinwheel today and then we move on to something else tomorrow going forward for the next three and then the next three something else. Oh, goodness gracious me. So, just putting it out there. Yes, you are, your eyes do not deceive you. I am wearing the same top I wore yesterday. I went to the supermarket to buy washing stuff for clothing, okay? There was nothing on the shelves, zero, absolutely zero. I went again this morning, so they've got, our local at Lazda has got a vulnerable hour, so from eight till nine, vulnerable people, then from nine onwards, um, the rest of us can go. And so I got there about five past nine and shelves fully stocked. So I got washing powder, so I can actually clean everyone's clothes now. So tomorrow, I'll be wearing a different top. Uh, morning, Sandra. Yes, yes, uh, I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, Karen, hi all, watching it all so later. Uh, morning, Maggie. Hello, hello, hello. Right, so cutting instructions for this block. Uh, I've made one up so you can see it. So this is what we're making today. Now this is super easy. So what I've done is I've added in a couple of cutting techniques in. Um, so it fills the time a bit, but also gives you another string to your armory if you don't already know um, these cutting techniques. So this is what we're making today. This lovely pinwheel block. Two colors only. Hi Louise, hi Doreen, hi Sally, hi Christine. So you need, I'll put this here so you can see. So um, one six and a half inch square in color one and one six and a half inch square in color two. You need a four three and a half squares in color one and you need a four 6.5 by 3.5 in color two, okay? Uh, hi Sue. Um, so this is a really straightforward block um, that I think just is gonna look really effective with the rest of them. So I've got my pieces cut already. I'm going for the green and the lilac because yesterday on our Dutchman's puzzle, if I can grab it, I did um, the purples and the hot pinks. I thought I'll do, I'll bring in the green today. So let me turn the camera down, camera around so you can see what I'm up to. I've got a lot of stuff now. I'm gonna move these blocks over here. Just keep myself organized. Oopsies. But as you know, as soon as I'm done, I abandon and I run back into the house. <laughs> uh, right. So my mum set up a new family chat this morning and I'm getting all the notifications come through, all sorts of videos and all sorts of things. Right, so on, on with the block, I'll turn you down. Okay. So you should be able to see that. Let me know if you can't. Right, so we start with our two six and a half inch squares. I don't think I've cut that very well at all. It's a bit of a running theme, isn't it? Let's be honest. Do you know what I think it will do? They're actually quite different sizes. I'll just see if this one's. I've got my big ruler today just because it's got a quarter of an inch line on it. And uh, when we're gonna do the cutting, that comes in handy for me. Right, so we're gonna start off with our two six and a half inch squares. We're gonna put one on top of the other right sides together. It doesn't matter which one goes on top, which one goes under. Same thing, doesn't matter. So we're gonna stitch all the way around the outside of this, quarter of an inch, okay? So let's get on and do that. Who tuned in for the bingo last night? My goodness, it was hilarious. 
actually I cried with laughter. So quarter inch all the way around. Morning Hayley. The main hilarity of the bingo was the fact that I couldn't see, it wasn't coming through on my comments when people were shouting bingo. <laughs> so it just sort of defeated the object. Okay. Uh, Kelly, what did you miss? Nothing really. Um, cut. I've just all I've done is I've placed a six and a half inch square color one, and I've placed the six and a half inch square color two right sides together, and I've stitched quarter of an inch around the outside. Now we're going to chop this up. So from diagonal corner to diagonal corner, cut. Keep those pieces together <clears throat> and then we're going to cut again on the diagonal making sure they're lined up and then from corner to corner again right now we have made some squares okay what we're going to do is we're going to trim these to size which is what i'm talking about the cutting technique normally what you would now do with your four four half square triangles is press them open one way of cutting is pressing open and the other way is keeping it as it is so what we'll do is we'll put two to one side and we'll cut two as they are so these blocks are currently if i get my mat they are currently four and a quarter inches all right but we want them to be three and a half inches so what we do ooh, is we find our I'm trying to line this up on my board. So my, I've got a point on my board here, one, two, three and a half. So I'm going to make, what I want is this line here to be three and a half, okay? So this line's got to be three and a half, this line's got to be three and a half. I hope that makes sense. So what I do is I take my block, it doesn't help that I'm trying to do this so you can see it, whereas I'd normally do it down here. <laughs> take my block and from this point, I'm going to measure three and a half okay so from this top point one two three and a half and then i'm going to cut across here three and a half okay just make sure i'm looking one two three and a half just making sure that's flat lining up my ruler okay so that's one, two, three and a half. And then this one is not yet three and a half. We've got one, two, three and three quarters. So we're gonna move this along. We want one, two, move it down, sorry. One, two, three. Oh no, we are right. It's me not looking properly, three and a half. It's cause I can't see the numbers here. I wish I could do it over there so you could see. So now we've got three and a half here and we've got three and a half here. I'll do that again, a bit nearer so you can see it. So say this is the bottom of your board, okay? You're lining up. So your corner here is in the corner of your board. What I then do, you can use a pen if you wanted to. From this point, down you're going to measure three and a half inches so if you want to use a pen you can so you could do a mark here it, i mean if you do it in the right place that helps i wasn't looking at the top 
three and a half inches. And then you're going to cut along this line here. So then you've got three and a half inches here and you've got three and a half inches here by just doing one cut, okay? So then when we open this out, you've got a three and a half inch square. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, morning, Angela. Morning, Kay. Um, so there, you've got, now you've got a three and a half inch square two of those by using that technique right and you can chop off the dog ears if you want to the other way is pressing open your block which i'll just do over here oh, i've turned my iron off not overly clever pressing open your block like so My iron's not on, or it wasn't on, so it's not the hottest. And what you do is make sure that the bottom point is on your right. Obviously, this is a um, flipped view. So the bottom point is on your right. It's going to top left. Using your ruler, this is where I'm going to have to move this off because my ruler is too long. But I'm hoping you can still see. So finding your 45 degree line on your ruler, you want to measure one, two, three and a half to the top line here. So this is your excess here. So that's the 45 degree line that's running through the center of our piece. You've measured one, two, three and a half along the top line and you've measured one, two, three and a half along the side line, <clears throat> excuse me. So now we can chop off. If you want to move it, then do. We're gonna chop off those two bits. I prefer this way because it gets rid of one of the dog ears straight away. It's up to you which way you wanna do it. So we'll run through that again. So making sure the diagonal line starts on the bottom right and ends at the top left find your 45 degree line on your ruler and just line that up so you've first of all you've just got the line then you're going to find three and a half by three and a half and you're going to take that point i need to move it because my stand is there you're going to take that point one two three and a half one, two, three and a half, to the top point of your project. So from measuring here, you've got three and a half, just about. And from measuring here, you've got three and a half, and then that's your excess. So if you ever need to trim any blocks to size, those are the two ways that you can do it. I prefer that way, um, you might prefer the other way. But then you've got all your blocks, are now three and a half inch squares. Yeah, bingo is brilliant. It was so funny, wasn't it? My goodness me. I was howling with laughter. Right, so now I'm gonna press my squares open. Now my iron is on. I'm not gonna bother removing my dog ears. Press. Okay, so now we're going to bring in our uh, three and a half inch squares. So each one of these half square triangles has a corresponding three and a half inch square. So what we want to do is place down your plane square, then your corresponding color, so the opposite color, has to have the seam flat against it. So that's where you're going to join. So if you, hopefully you can see that. That's how you're gonna put them together. So your block color, your block square, half square triangle, contrasting color, seam goes along there, okay? You're gonna do that with all four. You're gonna stitch them together. Just chain piece them on your machine. 
So right sides together. And then lay out the next one. I always lay it out the same way so that I just double check, fold and stitch. Okay. Lost the foot control. Third one. Check. And stitch. Last but not least, check, stitch. Now I've forgotten, I was looking at the comments, I've forgotten which way I'm stitching. Yes, like that. Yeah, I think we'll have to arrange another bingo session, another pub quiz session or if you've got any other ideas let me know right we've chain pieced those snip them open or snip them apart I should say and finger press each one open one finding the difficulty of the blocks so far are you up for the challenge of something a bit trickier I know this one's really simple but it's really effective right so each one of these now gets a six and a half inch by three and a half inch piece so look at your piece that's a bit, a bit dodgy and you want to have the plain block then half square triangle your plain block and your half square triangle color that's color one that's color one color two and now you're laying on color two six and a half inch along each one and you're going to do that for each one so I'll just lay them out on my mat bring in the machine and you're going to stitch them together. Next one. Just double check that they're in the right place. Which they are. These, these two are too small. So I just need to cut a couple more squares. What size have I cut these? Let's bring in this. They're just shy of six and a half, actually. They're definitely three, but I'm gonna cut two um, because I'd rather it be, you know, this is my quilt after all. I need to, I want it to go together nicely. So what I, I know this is probably, you probably don't do this. I cut off a bit, because I work in bits. So if I've got a big bolt of fabric like that, I'll cut it off in bits. <laughs> uh, just neaten up my, head, my side. So I need two. Uh, 
and they're six and a half inches. Cut off my selvage. And they're six and a half. What are they? Six and a half by three and a half. two now right that's better I thought as I looked at them I thought mm, that doesn't look quite right that's better line up this one up very well at all so yes we're homeschooling today <laughs> anyone else in the same boat we've done PE so if you don't already know Joe Wicks who's the body coach he is doing online PE classes um, on YouTube, free for all, all the kids. Um, so we did that this morning and they seem to, they seem to enjoy themselves. So now they're having a break while I stitch with you all. Right. Separate these all, separate these, separate these. This one, I think I've cut that too wide. Oh, honestly, I tell you what, trying to be a home learner with the, uh, I've cut that at four. I've cut this one, this three and a half inch one at four. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just simply lay this one over the top. So now it should be three and a quarter because I've used a quarter inch seam allowance. And I'm just going to trim it to size. So one, two, three. The quarter inch uh, line should be against your stitching because that's we've stitched. And I'm just going to trim it to the right size. That's me just not concentrating. I've probably done that with a couple of them, to be fair. That one, I've also not cut that piece to the right size. Never fear, the mat is here. Right, so now we've got four of these. So it's four blocks, all the same. Just gonna make sure that my edges are all neat. Trim off the dog ears from the previous, um, from your half square triangles. one I must have trimmed that one already get rid of my threads right so now what you're going to do is press all these open so set that seam roll it back and press it open one set those seams and they should have nested like that that's okay Karen you can always catch up if you want to make the blocker another time so that's two set your seams roll it back Fourth one, set those seams, roll it back. That's important you do press them now because you've got a lot of bulk in that area. Um, so you just want to make sure that everything is as it should be. Right. 
don't knock my drink over. So each of your blocks should be six and a half inches. If for any reason they're not six and a half inches, just give them a little trim. That's six and a half inches there. That's six and a half inches there. This one just needs a little, little shave. Don't know what I've done with this one. This one's got a little bit. So just make sure each one, each side is six and a half inches. That one needs a little trim. And I'm using my ruler like this because my ruler is exactly six and a half inches across. Yep, last one. Gone a bit skewiffy. Yep. Yep. And yep. Right, so now we're going to place one block as you've been stitching it. So you've been looking at it with a block there, and then a half square triangle here, and then a square there. Oh, um, Uh, so Abby, how much of each fabric will I need to complete the quilt as per your blocks? I've been searching through my... I can't read the rest. Um, I'll be honest, Karen. I don't know. Uh, because I'm sort of just doing this as we're going along. Um, maybe half metre of each. Is, that's probably a more on the conservative side. Uh, no, that's okay, Sam. That's okay. Right. So one block as you had it, uh, you've been stitching it with the, the square, three and a half inch square here at the top. Uh, then you're going to take your second block and butt it up against. Now this second block, that's your six and a half inch. That's your six and a half inch. Right sides together, you're gonna stitch them together. Bring in the machine, right sides together. <laughs> I stitched a very long key. A very wonky line there. Yes, Mum, you're late. You're fired. You're fired. That's what happens when you're busy setting up new WhatsApp groups I'm keep getting notifications for while I'm doing my live video with my friends. Right, next two. Uh, think about it for a second. Think about it for a second. So now you've got six and a half inch at the bottom six and a half inch to your right as you know this is mirror this is flipped so number block four to block three right sides together mum sauce sauce right sides together Right, press these. No offence, Mum, but I'm going to leave your family group because it's disturbing my live stream. Not ideal. Right, so now you've got two 
socks like that trim off your threads because otherwise they're going to poke through the seam you know how much that irritates me so piece one over onto piece two line up sides so today i'll tell you about that in a minute hold on let me get this seam done first a lot of bulk in this center so just um it's quiet now in the family whatsapp mm, yeah i've noticed yeah, you've got a lot of bulk so just take your time Colours do make me happy. Make sure that all that bulk is where you want it to be. And don't forget, before we put this together on day 13, please steam your blocks because it really, steam iron them, because it really does make a difference. There's quite a lot of bulk there and I want to get it on my steam iron. I'll turn this off. Lift you up. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> it's a lot quieter from here than last night's bingo. I know. Oh, I cried and cried. It was so funny. Um, right, there we go. There's the block done. So that will be a 12 and a half inch block. Let's just double check. Yeah, that's 12 and a half inch block. Lovely green, isn't it? Really lovely green. So, oh, I just stabbed myself with a pin. So, <laughs> so let's have a little uh, run through what we've got so far. So we'll do it in reverse order. So we've got the pinwheel block here that we've just done. Beautiful. Dutchman's puzzle from yesterday. Colorado. Le Moyne, Ribbon Star, Ohio Star. So they're the six blocks you'll have so far, or if you're catching up or you, you might do it at some point. Uh, two of them so far are, two of them so far are slightly smaller because they're going to have a border so one of each set of three is going to be a smaller block that we're going to add a border to it um, we're going to give it a real pop um, so the smaller blocks that you should have is the Colorado which is from the three pinwheels and the Le Moyne, which is from the three stars so your three stars Ohio Ribbon Le Moyne and your three pinwheel blocks that we've done is Colorado, Dutchman's Puzzle, and the one we've done today, the pinwheel, okay? Oh, I do like that green. That really does make a difference, actually. I think that's gonna be like a center one because every other one I've got has got a lilac background. And um, so I thought that would be nice. But what I'm gonna do is for my Colorado, and for my Lemoyne, probably, they'll get a green border. We'll see. We'll see what colour I decide. So that is the block today. Really easy block, really straightforward. Let me know if you're up for something a bit more complicated. Um, so I'm trying to keep my blocks in order. But it's very difficult for me to be organised. 
yeah let me know if you're up for something a bit more difficult uh the blog will be posted again at six o'clock or beforehand it's always beforehand really but six o'clock at the latest is when the block will go up um let me know uh yeah really simple block oh yeah untried itself twice uh can you see my comments i can see your comments soon i haven't seen it with anything before let's have a look No, that's the first one I can see. We had problems last night with the bingo. I wasn't seeing all the comments, which is very irritating. Um, yeah, so nice simple block, nice one that you could perhaps duplicate really quickly um, to, to make a whole quilt of those if you want to, or a lap quilt. And that's it. I'm going to go back to homeschooling the children. But what I was going to say is this afternoon for Seb, who's seven, his friends online on face well his friends parents will load up facebook i'm doing a live baking class because if you don't know about me i am i'm not a baker but i bake um i've done a lot of baking i um once went through i did the uh, great british bake off um auditions and had multiple callbacks and telephone interviews met producers and all that sort of thing got down to the last 66 but i was pipped at the post and i think it's because i was very awkward with the camera which was you know but i'm gonna do that live today and then what i'll do is i'll try and share it on my page you probably you might not be interested we're baking brownies uh it'll be 1 30. um mum's looking forward to baking class um Susan, they didn't go to you last night. No, I can see some, but I, just, I, I don't know what it is. It's a Facebook thing, I guess. Right, logging off now. I'll sh try and share the stream over on my page. I don't know how it works from personal page to other page, but I'll try my best. And thanks for joining me again. Tomorrow, we've got a new set of three. Let me know in the comments if you want a more complicated block, because I know they can be really fun to get your, your teeth into. Um, and I will see you tomorrow, same time, 11 o'clock. Okay, thanks everyone, bye.